So let's find out in today's lesson how far you should be standing away from the golf ball. Okay, it might seem like a bit of a, a strange or dull topic of how far should we stand away from the golf ball, but it's one that I see a little bit more so from like the beginner to the higher handicapper struggling with, but even so, as a better player, I sometimes see them quite not getting into the right spot and it can really affect your strike. And we're gonna discuss like that throughout this video because like I say, it is a very basic thing, but if you can do the basics well and stand to it correctly, you're going to give yourself a better chance of moving the club around the body, thus you're going to get a better chance of delivering the club back onto the ball in the correct manner. So let's go through it. I've got a driver, I've got a six iron, and then I've got my gap wedge. So one of the things that you know I'd see from some, say, maybe beginners, obviously all these clubs are of a different length there. We can see three totally different lengths and obviously as you're going through your set each one probably increases by about a quarter of an inch as a rule of thumb maybe not quite that much so if i were to then take a setup where if i pop this in and i set up to my driver in fact yeah if i set up to my driver here make a good setup and see that i'm there if i then go and try and do the same position i don't move my feet and go to a wedge if it was on the floor here it would look totally totally awkward to you there and it's not going to give me the best chance of delivering that club back onto the ball so what we need to do is find a way for us to be able to use a system to get back to the right spot get back to putting the club in the right position and make sure we're getting the right body angles each time so as you go through as well even though the lengths get longer, the lie of the club gets longer as well, and that's the angle that the club sits on. So that's gonna dictate how the club should be placed to the floor. A lot of people generally, when they're starting out with an iron, they try and get the toe too flush to the floor, so we'd see that it's completely pressed down as where well. you should be able to slide about a pound coin under your toe of your iron when it's sat on the ground. You don't want it completely flush because your hands raise up ever so slightly at impact generally anyway. So if you do that, it's going to be too much of the toe burying in. Very much the same with the driver. We don't want to see that we'd actually alter how it sits when we get into it. So a good way, good system, let's go through it, of how we're going to find the sweet spot of where we want to stand to the golf ball. So what Given that we've got a good posture, we're not slumped into it, we're not sitting down in our knees too much, and we've created some good angles. What I'd like you to do is take, you're gonna go through maybe your whole bag, or you can just skip a couple of irons, maybe do what I've done here and go wedge, mid iron, and then driver. You're gonna place the club into the ball. You're gonna see how it sits there. Like I say, with the iron, just wanna be able to slot that pound coin underneath the toe. We're then gonna adopt our posture and see that we feel comfortable there now when we stand to it what we want to feel that we've not got too much weight in the toes and we're not over the golf ball too much and vice versa we don't want to see too much weight in the heels and see that we'd be falling back we want to see that we've got the weight in the balls of our feet and as i address this now if you imagine as i was here see how my armpits are just pretty much over my kneecaps and over the balls of my feet if you've got a mirror or a phone that you're using to record yourself just look for that for a checkpoint if you were over here generally going to be too far away and if you were back here too um you're going to be leaning back too much so we're going to take that setup where we get really comfy feel that we're nice and balanced then what i want you to do is take your grip and once you've done that just before you're about to hit it i want you to place the club onto your lead leg so you're just going to leave it resting there staying in your posture and what we should find is that if it's done correctly and you're at a good um, point of how far you should be away from the ball that club should be about an inch and a half to two inches above your lead kneecap now if i were to do it where i got a little bit too close to it and then place it on we can see now it's nearly up to the top of my thigh nearly up to near where my hip is what i wouldn't want to do from here then is then just lean back and get it to the two inches above my kneecap because i'm totally in my heels here i'm going to be off balanced so from where i was here totally on top of the ball and too close we're actually going to step back rebuild the setup take the grip and then place it again 
and see that you've hit that sweet spot there where it's two inches above the kneecap. Then when we get into a six iron, same thing applies. Whether it's seven iron, eight iron, nine iron, we're gonna see if I went too far here this time into my heels, if I now place it down, it's actually below my kneecap there. So I wouldn't just lean forwards here because I'm gonna fall off balance. I'd put the club back in, I'd rebuild my setup, drop it onto that lead leg and see that I've got two inches again above that kneecap. And once I'm here, I'm feeling balanced and I can start to deliver the club in a better fashion. Again, if we go through it with driver, guess what guys? We need two inches, don't we all? So here, we're gonna say that we're gonna be good setup, take your grip, place it on, and again, I've found that point where it should be. I don't look awkward, I don't look like my setup's changing. The only thing that's changing really is how far I'm standing away from the golf ball. My angles of my body are staying pretty consistent. The where my weight is in my feet is always in the center, not in the toes and heels. And I don't think, oh, it'll do. I'll just make a swing because the likelihood is you'll either toe or heel that shot or fall out of balance and miss it, top it, whatever it may be. Give yourself a fighting chance. See that you're here, get the balance, drop it in, towards the lead leg and it should be two inches. So I'm gonna fire an iron off here. Let's see if we can get the right balance. So that's obviously gonna to be too close. There's obviously gonna to be too far away. I'm gonna take, set up nice and balanced. See that I've got good angles in my posture. Drop it, oh, I'm a little bit too close there. There we go, two inches. Find my balance, that's good. And now I can absolutely strike it out of the middle. Lovely divot, felt in balance the whole time as I hit that. And that was all just from that simple little tip of finding where the club sits on that lead leg each time. So guys, question answered for you. How far should you stand away from the golf ball? Take your set up, make sure you're in a balanced position, then place the club onto the lead leg. See it's about an inch and a half to two inches above your lead kneecap. If not, readjust, don't just try and lean into it. Guys, I hope that tip has helped you. I hope you can now find the right setup and start to really crush all your, all your clubs in your bag. Give the uh, like button a smash if you think that's gonna happen. Also, like I said earlier, do remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future lessons. And also a big thank you to Lakala for letting me come down here and film. It's their 30th anniversary. I've created some content for them on over on their channel, so make sure you go and check out those videos as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with another tip.